Hey everybody, Thermal Mike here, and when the lights go down, your gaming world lights up. And that's no different with our new RGB12 TT Premium Edition Ring Software Fans. Now these fans bring a whole new world to RGB with the software options allowing users to be able to change color, change performance, and be able to set their own custom RGB options for their cooling system, specifically with our Ring 12 TT Premium Edition fans. Now I have my fans hooked up as the moment you can see the three fans lit up in red, which is the default LED you'll get right out of the box. And the software version I'm currently using today is version 1.0.2. Now this version brings some new features as well as some adjustments to the software and of course we'll be continuing to add more features and options as we go forward with our Ring TT Premium Edition product. Now as I go ahead and load up the software, you'll see the Ring RGB TT Premium Edition interface showing the three fans referenced here with the red color already shown. Now I can go ahead and change the color, I can change the performance, and there's some other additional features as well as profile options. So let's go ahead and dive right in to the LED color options first. Now with this, I have the three fans set to red. I can go down here to my color wheel and I can select multiple color options so that each individual fan in real time can be set to specific colors that I choose and I can select and pick from a variety of color options available in the color wheel, including white. You can also set the color on fan number one, which is the fan option to the left, and then there's a copy feature that allows you to copy the identical color that was selected on fan one, so you don't have to run into issues with trying to find that exact color for all three fans across the board and it offers great opportunity for people you know, that are looking to set different profiles to get that custom synced color option that they're looking for. Now you also have the option to disable and actually turn the lights off. Well the fan will still spin, but you can disable the LED light if you like. And then there is also an RGB feature that you can enable the RGB option. And of course you'll see this RGB feature similar to our Ring 12 RGB fans giving it the same specific options as well. And one of the great things is, is that I can turn the actual RGB off on individual controllers or the, you know, with the fans here, or I can set them all to RGB. You have the option to individually set each fan to any color that you prefer. With this, we also want to introduce our new blink feature. So let's go ahead and set our color to purple just for our test option here. So we got purple set across the board as you see with our fans. Now if I enable blink, what blink will do is basically as it says, it will blink the LED light. And one of the great advantages with this blink feature is being able to set and select the blink options on your fans to do any type of sequence that you prefer where I can, you know, kind of get this set up in kind of a scrolling option as you see here. And I can run this left to right, right to left, up or down, depending on where you're going to put your fans in. It gives a great aesthetic look that is definitely one of our latest features that the Ring software versions have to offer. Now with the Blink feature and the RGB, the lighting, the options, I mean I can select and change the colors that I want. You also have an availability to change the brightness of the fans. So let me just take the blink off. So we got solid color options. And you can see here with the blue, I have the blue fan. I can decrease the lighting a little bit, a little bit. I can take it almost all the way down in increments here. So that way if I don't want it as bright, I can adjust the brightness level tone it down a little bit or bring it up depending on what I want to do. Another feature that the LED system has to offer. Now with the color options, you'll be able to set and select different color options that you prefer. You can also save the profiles, which we'll get to that here shortly. But I want to jump over to the actual fan performance itself. So as I'm set to blue, I have three options here and we do have some more options coming soon. Right now, my fans are set to silent mode. This is basically running the fans in a silent operation, and you can see my RPMs are fairly low, and I also have PWM enabled. Granted, my W100 system over here runs really cool. I'm currently at a temperature of 28 Celsius, so your RPMs will not really pick up too much with that great of a temperature. Granted, we're not really running anything at the moment, but we can also go ahead and go in here and disable the PWM, 
And then with the PWM disabled, we can keep it on silent mode or we can switch it to performance mode basically ramping the fans up to 100% performance. And over a set period of time, you will see the fan speeds pick up to their maximum fan speed as well. So if you wanna have something that's quiet, you wanna have something that's gonna give you top performance, or you want something in between that's controlled by PWM, Thermaltake has you covered across the board with the new Ring 12 TT Premium Edition fans. With this, I am set to blue, uh, on profile one, which is up here in the corner, and you have five different profile options to choose. So as I'm set to profile one, which by default was red, when I selected red, it changed it right back to red. If I click save, I'm gonna save my settings and the fans are gonna react and go to that saved profile. Now if I wanna go back to blue, I can select blue here, I can copy it so I got the same color blue across the board, and then I will then save this profile. Now profile one is set to blue. Profile two is set to red because all five profiles will be set you know, to red by default. So as I select profile one, profile two, you'll see the colors will change instantly as I select each profile. Now for the other fans, let's get them going. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn on profile two, or controller two for profile one, controller three for profile one, and controller four for profile one. Now I have all 12 of my fans up and running with the blue LED color that I preset here with profile number one. Now here's some great options with the Ring TT software. Now if I wanna set different profile, different combinations, it's very easy to set specific colors. If I wanted blue on one, and I wanna do purple on the other one, I can set this, I can save it. I can do profile three, for example, in RGB mode, and I can save profile three. And you can see the bottom fans here, because I'm currently selected on controller four, is changing controller four in real time. But as you see, controller one, two, and three are still blue because we haven't changed the profiles. So this is kind of the trick that you have to see when you first kind of set it up. And we did want to cover this here so you guys would have a great understanding on how everything works. Now as I go back to controller one, controller two, three, and four, you'll see that four is on the RGB mode. I can go here and change controller three. We'll set it to profile three for RGB mode. We'll click save. We'll do the same to two. We'll click save. And then of course, we'll do the same thing to one and we'll click save. Now, as you saw, as I did that sequence, all the fans resynced for the RGB once I applied the profile. Every time I click save, it will reset your RGB profile. Now, if you want to set all your fans to RGB or you want to set only select fans to RGB, you have that option. And all this is saved with the individual profiles that you'll see here at the top. Now, the fans will also show up on the controllers assigned here at the top. You'll see one through five on the top, and as I click the arrows, I can scroll all the way over to controller 16. Now this of course was pre-set up with the hardware switches that are on the actual controllers themselves for you know controller one, two, three, and four. And then with each controller, I can go ahead and I can set and select the options that I want. Now with this, I'm set to RGB mode. The other thing I can do is I can go in between. So if I go back to profile one, let's set, well, let's go back to blue, but let's turn the blink feature on. Now that we have the blink feature on for all three fans, let's go ahead and save this profile. Now this profile is saved. We can go back to two, go to three controller and four and we can save these so all four fans are now doing the blink sequence. And with the blink sequence, you can set individual syncs, but you cannot save it to a particular profile. You will have to set those up custom, and that will be something we'll cover later with our advanced Ring software video. So stay tuned for that as we'll dive in even further with the Ring software as we get more options and adjustments. So with the ring options, you have the availability to change the color, you have the availability to change your performance mode, and you can set different profiles with different performance, different lighting, and set just about any option in between there with all the different modes and save features that we have available with our ring software. I'm just changing this, we can change this to purple. Now one of the neat things is, is that if I go to profile one, 
and I'm on the blue. So I set uh, controller two to profile one, controller three to profile one, and four. So all four controllers are saved to profile one. Now if I'm on controller one through four, doesn't matter. I select profile one. Now I can go in here and I can change the color. So as I change the color green, you will see that it will change in real time for the top controller, controller one, and then I can copy this across. So now just the top one is, now if I go and I click save, now remember, controller two, three, and four is saved on profile one. So if I click save, all of my fans are then gonna instantly change to the updated profile. So this way it allows you to be able to sync and set your profiles very easily once you've assigned it to the controller. So if I want everything to be red, I can click red, I can click save, and boom, everything will switch over to red. If I want to go performance mode, I can select performance mode, I can disable PWM, I can click save, and my fans are gonna ramp up to their full speed. With these fans here, you'll see a performance uh, speed rating, especially if you're water cooled, you know, in the low four to 500 RPM range and uh, running at the full performance mode, you'll get about uh, 1350 to 1400, you know, as a variable uh, for the RPM fan speeds at 100% performance. So this here is the Ring RGB TT Premium Edition software. Some of the basic functions as far as how you want to get set up. And don't forget, with the Ring software, you do want to make sure that you sync your controllers so that way it will save the setting to the controller itself. To do this, once you've gone in and you've set your settings, like I've set here with my rings, uh, as you can see them blinking in the background, you'll then just wanna shut the system down, which is very important. A reboot will not actually save the settings, so meaning that if I rebooted my system and I didn't shut the system down, these profile settings will not automatically save to the controller, but they will save to the software. So as long as I have this saved and I shut down, once I turn my system back on, the controllers will sync and store the settings with them, and those controllers will then have that setting saved forever until you go back in and make a change, save it, and shut it down to resync. So this here is the Ring 12 TT Premium Edition software video. Stay tuned for more, and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let us know down in the comments below if there's anything you'd like us to cover, any questions you might have, and we might cover it here on our next video.